Check out what Runway is cooking. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing today? I want to show you the cool tools that Runway has added to their service. And by the way, this is not a paid video because believe me, I asked them and they said no. So I guess it's going to be instant noodles for me again. But we have to keep on rocking. And before you say, hey, it's not a free local thing that you can render on your computer. Yes, that's true. But I also want to show you other options, especially because because more and more people in my comments say, hey, I can't run that on my hardware or this is too complex for me. So let's check that out. I want to get started here with the face animation they have. As you can see I have uploaded a video of myself with my face here and I try to play through different emotional scenes. You can select from characters down here or upload your own image. So as you can see I have created a pirate character on mid journey and also this Warframe character. And now I'm going to play you the results side by side so you can judge for yourself. Why did you take my chickens? <gasps> that is a great idea. <laughs> oh, you look very nice in that dress. Really? You think that's a good idea? Don't, don't do it. <laughs> Personally, I have to say that the results here are very nice. If you compare this to what we have seen from X Portrait, where the results are very stunning, I was super impressed by that. But a lot of you said, hey, this is kind of goofy with the head movement, with the face expressions, which of course, yes, it is a little bit like uncanny valley, but still the expressiveness of the face here is pretty amazing but of course runway has more than that and one of the most impressive things here is expand video so as you can see here in the preview you can just upload a video and then expand it and you can actually expand it multiple times you can see here this is expanded first in the height and then in the width so i also tried that and i tried it with animated videos and then tried it with real videos so first I want to show you here an example that I've created as a short also with Runway. You have probably seen that as a YouTube short on my channel. You can see that it is 9 by 16. And here is the extended version of that, which I have to say is really stunning on how this invented the rest of the landscape. Everything fits and flows together very well. And of course, at that point, you can say, hey, wait a second, that is actually a pretty simple, easy example. Show us something that's more impressive. Check out this. So here for the next example, I have a dancer. And as you can see, we can only see the upper body from that. And I want to extend that. If you want to use it as a short, you have to have it on the high format, on the vertical format. So let's look at the result we get from that. That is absolutely stunning. My mind is blown on how good that is because it adds not just the buildings in the background, but look at the foot movement. Look at how it extends the arms, everything actually fitting together. There's a little kit here popping up in the background. That's a little strange detail. But other than that, I have to say my mind is absolutely blown how this can actually extend it in that way another example this time we're gonna go the other way around and it starts out with a vertical video of a snowboarder going down the slopes and then also actually rotating the camera so let's check out the result and it looks pretty amazing now you can see a little bit of an edge on the left side and here you have the twist which is amazing that this actually works and also the slow motion so this is like i don't i don't even have words for how crazy that is look at how this actually understands this kind of 360 editing afterwards and add all of that landscape and the sun all of that motion with the rotation with the slow motion even outside of the part of the original frame it is really crazy. I have to say, I've not expected anything like that. 
Okay, let's go to the next crazy thing we can do here. And this is actually camera control. So again, I created some images with mid journey. And then on the left side, you can see the very easy to understand controls. Now, one of the things here I really appreciate is that I can click in here with my mouse and actually move it around so that I have a preview of what is actually happening here. So that already makes it super easy. And you can see the adjustments down there moving in sync to my adjustments up here but of course you can do more camera movements than just this so you can also pen which is meaning that you rotate your camera from left to right you can also tilt which means you rotate it up and down and then if you scroll down a little bit more you can see that you can either zoom out or zoom into the scene and you can also roll not a complete barrel roll but far enough. I would say that it's about a 45 degree angle here. And I have some impressive results for you. So here we are in a city. We are looking down onto the street and I added a little bit of a prompt here so that it understands the camera motion. So here we have view from a high building down onto the road. Let's check out the result. It added here a little bit of time lapse. The camera is moving down and it actually adds more detail perspectively correct, which is insane. So this really understands what is going on in the scene and then can add these parts. We can also do the same thing in the other direction where I wanted to have a dramatic sky up here with clouds. It created all of that for me. It even created an additional skyscraper there in the background. An interesting part here, actually, it's adjusting the light in the scene while we are moving into the brighter sky. Maybe making it a little bit too dark is going to night here. But anyways, it's still working have another video that I want to show you where I'm zooming into the scene. And this is actually also pretty impressive. Now it doesn't really add new details. And then on the second part of the video, it for some kind of reason, just like flunked out and doesn't do anything anymore. But the first part where it's zooming into the video is still very impressive. And I tried the same thing with a zooming out motion where again, it has to invent more parts for that scene. And I think it did a really great job here, adding that hill, adding all that grass that is exposed through that backwards movement of the zoom. Again, very impressive. By the way, one thing I want to point out here is all of these examples are first rolls. I didn't try five times, 10 times, 50 times. I tried one time to get these results. But let's go back here to what else you can do. And of course, you can use an image as an input to turn it into a video. So if you want to create creative shorts or videos, this is actually a really good tool. And one thing I want to point out here is also that they have an unlimited tier where you can create as many videos as you want. And I'm actually using the unlimited tier. So I created hundreds of videos with this. You can see here on the right side, the input you can select if this is going to be the first frame or the last frame, or you can set it as the first frame and the last frame to create a loop or have two different images to basically change between these scenes to morph into another scene. You can use here a simple prompt, which I would highly advise to do in this case, because you want to define what kind of motion you want to have here. And in this case, I have FPV drone moving along a path into a fantasy neon forest. And this is the result we get from that, which again has a really amazing understanding of the perspective of the space in there. It events, events new details to actually be able to move along that path. And if you check out my channels, you have seen the different shorts that I have created all with this runway method here. But not least, let's also check out the pricing options here. Now, because this is video rendering and not image rendering, this is more expensive. And well, it's not on the cheap side. And actually, I would not suggest for you to use these kind of like standard and pro plans because the credits are used up pretty fast. If you want to experiment with that, the unlimited option looks pretty pricey. But if you do a lot of videos, it might actually be worth it for you, especially if you use it professionally. Or what I can suggest to you 
is that you come up with all the ideas, use it for one month, unlimited, make as many videos as you can, and then you can cancel that. Personally, I'm very impressed with Runway, and I have to say I really enjoy exploring these options for you because then you have a comparison to what you can do locally, and also you have an option when you say I don't have the hardware or I don't understand all of this complexity, for example, for ComfyUI. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Bye.